right, so back when schools went virtual, lots of class projects were cut short. Well, one third grader refused to let her gardening assignment go, even when she no longer had to do it. And good for her because she ended up growing the largest cabbage I've ever seen, weighing in at a whopping 31 pounds. Look at this, it is enormous. And we actually have Kyra along with her mom, Angie, zooming in. Hey, what's up, Kyra? What's up, Angie? Hi, we're doing good. How are you? I am so great. I love that you are such a little green thumb at such a young age. That's so amazing. <laughs> what an amazing skill to have to be able to like plant something and, and, and harvest it and then eat it. That's so cool. So tell us more about this cabbage assignment and what a random assignment from your school. That's so cool. Um, we was giving a little cabbage and I put it in my great grandparents garden and I make sure I watered it, make sure it gets lost the sun and put a bucket over it at night so it won't frost and die. I mean, to know, that's so cool. I love that this was a class assignment. These are like the skills I feel like no one ever taught me in school that I would have loved to have had, like these life skills that are more important now than ever, like su such a financial crisis happening, people being able to grow their own food. That would be yeah. amazing. So, so Kyra, I mean, why did you keep up with the assignment even when you didn't have to? I wanted to see how fun it would be to grow a cabbage for the first time and just to stay positive during COVID-19. She had a cabbage for like three to four weeks before the pandemic. So it kind of was like a routine for her. And mm -hmm. she stuck with it. She did really good with it. I'm proud she did. It kept her mind off all of the crazy things that were going on. Yeah, that's what I said. It's been a big year. <laughs> so, yeah, yes. so there's a lot of stuff going on. So, I mean, Kyra and Andrew, I understand that you had a big celebration when you dug the cabbage up, right? <laughs> yes, we had a big celebration when we was harvesting it uh, when we waited it. And, so, and we used the water hose to, you know, get all the dirt and stuff off. But we ended up wetting each other with the water hose and it was really fun. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it, it, that's so cool to be able to, like I said, just have that life skill is it's invaluable. Um, Angie, what, what did you guys do with all that cabbage? Well, um, we cut it up and we gave it to six households, which equal to be about around about 25 people. And with those 25 people, um, they did lots of things with theirs. Um, some steamed their cabbage, and some. one of my cousins made a, a coleslaw out of hers, but it mm. was really good. Kyra says it was better than the store. <laughs> oh, my God. It is. That's the thing, too. It sounds mm -hmm. like such a cliche thing to say, but when you grow it and you take it's different. And, and especially if you're not, you know, using any pesticides or any kind of that stuff, it, it just, it tastes like so good and so whole. Yeah. Well, Kyra, there's someone pretty famous who's also really great at gardening. Um, she grew the biggest cabbage I had ever seen in my life until I saw yours. I'm actually talking about Miss Oprah Winfrey. Um, so Oprah actually sent us a message just for you because she was so impressed by, by you. So let's see it. Hey, Kyra. Well, you know, I heard about the incredible cabbage that you grew, even though all the rest of the class uh, gardening project was canceled when schools closed earlier this year. You know, I love gardening. All of my cabbage are gone, so I'm standing here in front of my Brussels sprouts. And I heard that you watered your cabbage, you made sure it got plenty of sun, you watched it grow, and it grew to be 31 pounds. Well you you win that's very impressive i've never had a 31 pound cabbage so i'm so glad you stuck with your school project as you can imagine i love gardening and i can see that you love gardening and this is what i know for sure when you do what you love love follows you so keep doing what you love don't let anybody stop you from doing what you believe is right for you. And I hope you continue finding joy in your garden. Love to you, Kyra. Wasn't that cool? That was so cool. Yes. That was amazing. Yeah. I was so excited. I was like, I was like, you're the, I am not that cool. I didn't get Oprah just do that. You did. You were cool. And that's how that happened. And I'm just so proud of you. And keep up gardening, man. It's so cool. It sounds like your family already gardens, like you said, your your grandparents, right? That's where you were growing it. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like you already have some green thumbs. Keep that. That's such an amazing life skill. And, and food is medicine. And to learn that at a young age is so important. Um, so congratulations, Kyra. I'm so proud of you. Angie, way to be a great mama. And I hope you all like that little video message. We'll get that message to you. A big shout out to Oprah. Thank you so much. That was so, Thank it was so Oprah. Fun. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Please don't make me keep going.